welcome back to my channel today. So today's video is a very highly requested video because as you guys know, I have done a lot of the Kylie lip kit reviews here on my channel, but I've kind of slacked off a bit. I've been ordering them. I have all the colors, but I haven't like been doing a video on them. I don't know why. I honestly think life happened, videos happened, and it just got kind of put on the back burner. So I'm finally bringing you guys like my little review of the Kylie lip kits. This is basically going to be another dope or no, on the Kylie Lip Kit. So I will let you guys know my thoughts on each color. I have swatched them all before this video. I am currently wearing, what is it called? Dark of, Dead of Night on my lips right now. Serious butthole lips, I know. But this is like gonna take me forever to get off. Like the darker blue took me forever to get off. This black is going to take me forever to get off. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and film the talking parts. I will say that I do have butthole lip. It's okay. Let's ignore it. So before we get in this dope or dope review, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you get notified for future videos. And now let's go ahead and see my thoughts on these Kylie Lip Kits. All right, so real quick before we get in the review, just let you guys know that there's a lot of colors still in stock on her website now. She's trying to keep more stuff in stock at a time and not like have everything like sell out. So that's a good thing. So if you guys want to get like Posy K or like Coco K, I saw those ones were like still available. So definitely head over there if you guys want to get any of these lipsticks. Also, what is great is that you no longer have have to purchase them in a kit anymore. You can either purchase the liquid lipstick and the lip liner separate or you purchase them together, which is awesome. So also if you decide to purchase the kit, that will be $29. But if you decide to purchase them separately, then you can get the liquid lipstick for I believe $17 and you can buy, ooh, that lip liner is still open. And also you can buy the lip liner for $14 on its own as well. And then also all the metal liquid lipsticks are retailing for $18. So they're a dollar more than the regular liquid lipsticks. All right, so the first shade that I'm gonna be talking about is the color Exposed. And I actually really like this color. So I bought the little kit, so I have the lip liner and the lipstick here. I love the formulation of these, but I did notice a difference between Candy K, which was like crazy. So I ordered Candy K the very first batch that ever came out. And then I heard a lot of like reviews about it people were saying that the newer ones have different ingredients or something and then also they are a different color which is totally true I definitely did notice that I noticed that the first batch of candy K was really comfortable to wear and then I put on the other newer batch of candy K and it was a lot more drying like I didn't like it as much so I definitely did notice that and then also the newer candy K is way more pink rather than brown than the first batch. So that's my little take on that. I have snapped about that before because I had a lot of questions asked about my thoughts on it and yeah, I did notice a difference. But with Exposed, I really do like this formula. It was really comfortable on my lips. It sat well, it didn't feel too drying and it went off really easily too, which is a plus. But this shade is a gorgeous kind of warm brown. I was kind of worried about it because I really don't like warmer tone lip products because they just don't go well with me. But this one I actually really, really enjoyed. So I highly recommend this one. It's really pretty. If you guys like warmer tone nudes, you would really enjoy this one. And then also I have the lip liner right here. Lip liner is like the perfect nude. Look at that. I'm obsessed with that one. That one's gorgeous. Honestly, you can always top these off with the gloss if you don't want that matte finish and it makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. Or what you can do is take the lip liner and put that all on your lips and then put a gloss over that as well. So whatever floats your boat. But I have to say Expose is definitely a dope. All right, so the next one that I want to talk about is the metal lipstick and this one is in Kai Majesty. So when I was doing my makeup collection, I got so many comments about everyone warning me about the shade and I had no idea all that drama was going on about the shade. But I guess basically this came like half empty for a lot of people. It was a really bad formula, very patchy, all that fun stuff. So I was like, oh shoot, I haven't even used this yet. Let's check this out. So I first opened it up and was like kind of swishing the product around like how people were telling me. And I'm gonna try to do a close up shot so you guys can see it too but you can definitely see that this thing is not full. Like it definitely isn't full. Like you can move around the product and see inside of it. So it's definitely fairly empty. Oh yeah. And it like clumps up. Oh, this is just like, oh my God. Oh, that's just not good. It's not a good formula at all. I don't know what happened with this one. Air and King K and the other one, I forgot the name of it, were amazing. Those were great metal lipsticks, but this, I don't know what they did with this one. And then also when I took it out, the applicator looked like it's been put through the ringer. Like I was just like, this is one janky applicator. It's all like, it's got its hairs like all like kind of sticking out like really weird. It just looks like, 
I don't know, it's just like crap. So yeah, that was a down part too. And then also when I went to put it on my lips, here, I'll swatch it for you guys. It's a really pretty kind of dark navy blue, I want to say, with that metallic finish, and it swatches nicely on your arm. But the second you start putting it on your lips, it's very, very patchy. And I was putting layer and layer and layer, and then I would go grab my mirror. I'm like, okay, let's look at this. Still patchy. Still was like all, it was just horrible. It looked horrible. It was hard to apply. It was just one big mess. So if you guys have this, I would definitely recommend using a lip liner, maybe even taking like dead of night or even taking like freedom and then putting those lip liners all on your lips and then top it off with this or even grab a lipstick or something and top it off. That might work out better. But in all honesty, you guys, if you were thinking about picking up Kai Majesty, I would stay away from it not very good at all so I would definitely have to give it a nope. All right so next up I want to talk about Skyly. So this one is a really pretty kind of sky blue which goes perfectly Skyly yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this real quick before we get into it but it's a really gorgeous sky blue like honestly it's a really pretty shade although it's a little bit out there for me when it comes down to liquid lipsticks to be honest but it's really really pretty i would like this in like a liner like an eyeliner that would be gorgeous but yeah and then also here is the lip liner the lip liner is gorgeous too so when i put this one on my lips I was not the biggest fan of it either. It was very patchy. I was having to put layer and layer and layer. It was just like really dry and patchy. Like it just did not look good at all. Like the formulation on this one was also like a no-go. It just did not work out well. And I was just having to layer and layer and then it got even drier on the lips, you know, cause it was just like layering up. So yeah, this was definitely a no bueno for me. So I'm gonna have to give this a nope. All right, so the next color that we're gonna be talking about is called Freedom. So Freedom and Skyly are both like the 4th of July collection, which I believe are limited edition and they're sold out. I don't know if she's gonna be bringing them back. I wouldn't be surprised if she does bring them back in the future, but right now they are sold out. So Freedom is a really gorgeous navy blue. And I really enjoyed this one. So that one is a really pretty navy blue. I really enjoyed this color. This also would be a great color and an eyeliner. Yes. And this is what the lip liner looks like right here. I did notice the lip liner was very dry. It almost felt like chalky in a sense. Like when you're putting on your lips, it felt like it was like you're putting chalk on your lips. I didn't really care much for the lip liner to be honest, just because it did feel very like just, it looked kind of chalky, like it just didn't look right. But I really enjoyed the liquid lipstick. I thought she did a great job with the formula with this one. It definitely was like cement on my lips. It was super hard to get off. If you guys watched my Snapchat, I was like trying to get this thing off and it would not come off. Like this was the hardest liquid lipstick I've ever tried to take off my lips. And I'm this is why I did not change the black one, you guys, because this is gonna take a while. I might have to go get some oils to take this one off. But yeah, so I really enjoyed this color, but it is like, it's there. It's not going anywhere, but it did go on really nicely. It went on even, didn't go on patchy. It just looked really good on the lips. So I do recommend Freedom if she does decide to bring it back, especially if you guys like to step out of the box with colors and everything. I think you would definitely like Freedom. I thought this one was absolutely gorgeous. So I definitely have to give this one a dope. Okay, so last but not least here, I have Dead of a Night, and this is her black liquid lipstick. This is actually the color that I'm wearing on my lips. The down part to this one is huge butthole lips so you guys can see that it go, it happens just automatically when you put it on butthole lip and i think that's what's really gonna happen anyways with any dark color like it definitely happens with freedom too but that was one unfortunate thing about it but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you even though it's gonna take forever to get off my arm so it's just a black it's just a black black liquid lipstick so if you guys love those black colors those really dark bold colors, you would like that of night. This is not really my cup of tea, although it is kind of fun to wear such a bold lip in a video, but it's not really my cup of tea, but you know what? It went on really nicely. It wasn't patchy. You definitely did have to layer a little bit, but not too much. It just went on really nicely. And then also with the lip liner in Dead of Night, it was also a little bit chalky for me as well. Like it's hard to like explain it because it doesn't like feel like chalk, but it goes on like it looks like chalk, you know? It just looks very dry. So that's one thing I did notice about the lip liner. Honestly, this would actually be kind of nice to use on the eyes. Maybe smudge it out a bit. Eyeliner. Yeah. 
But I have to say that this definitely was a really good formula, especially for being such a dark, dark color. I will warn you though, this thing is going to be impossible to get off my lips. I'm gonna have to go get some oil. I've never had a liquid lipstick be as hard as Freedom and Dead of Night to get off my lips. Like, those things are like on. So it's like a tattoo on your lips, like not gonna come off. So that is like a plus and a down part. Like for when you wanna take it off, it's gonna be hard, but if you want it to stay on all day, it most likely will. So if I had to give this a dope or a nope, I definitely have to give it a dope. And that's because it is such a dark color that it does have a good formula. Cause I'm pretty sure dark colors are harder to formulate in a sense. And it's actually very comfortable. So yeah, definitely give it a dope. All right, so that is the end of my Dope or Nope review on the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Dope or Nope. I hope that it helped you kind of decide which colors to go get and which colors to kind of like mm, stay away from. Also, I really recommend getting Expose and Coco K. Those are gorgeous. Also get Air. I really love that one in the Metal Liquid Lipsticks. It's gorgeous, you guys, like absolutely gorgeous and so comfortable to wear. So I really recommend those three shades if you guys are trying to find a color in her collection to purchase. So if you guys enjoyed this Dope or Nope review, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh my God. That's just not coming off. This song, another listen, close your eyes.